Jade Carter, Texas Game Wolf. We're here to talk about water safety since uh, it's our water safety season starting up. You know, it's starting to get hotter. Everybody's starting to get out there and have a little bit of fun. So we just want to make sure everybody's being safe on the water. What comes with that is wearing your life jacket when you're out and about, especially when you're on a boat. If you're uh, operating a jet ski or a personal, personal water craft, you might want to think about putting that on as well since it is required. When you're on a boat, it's not required for you to wear it unless you're 13 years of age or younger, but it's always good to have make sure you have enough for everybody. And then if you're not a great swimmer, you might want to put it on. And so going on and expanding on that, uh, we're at here at Nasworthy right now, but uh, some of the things that we always ask people to be cautious of is other boaters, of course. Uh, make sure that if you're out here, you've taken your boater uh, education, and that way you can make sure you know what the rules and regulations are. And if you're unfamiliar, make sure you ask one of us game wardens while we're out here, or your lake patrol. And so, going on with that, there's a lot of rules out here as far as like water, uh, no wake zones and where you can go and things like that. So make sure that you're paying attention to the buoys that are out here as well. Again, we want to emphasize that you be safe. We want you to have fun as well because it is a fun time. We want you to have fun. But again, it's never fun when we have to talk about drownings. Okay? And so we've had a lot of drownings out here. Most of those come from uh, people just swimming. And so make sure you know your limits. And the folks that are out there with others swimming, make sure you're paying attention to them. Be usually when people are, are drowning, they don't call her out. Okay? And so just make sure that you, you're paying attention to your family, maybe other, other people's family that are around there so you can kind of keep that you know, keep a watch on them as well. Everybody, again, everybody wants to have a good time, and we don't want to talk about that. So, um, again, we just want you to be safe. We want you to have fun. And again, while the weather's warm, it's going to be a great time to be out here. <clears throat> when you're out here, uh, you, you might want to be uh, have, do some fishing and stuff like that. So, make sure you have your fishing license. Again, you can get that from Walmart Academy. Anywhere you normally buy a fishing license, make sure you go get that before fishing, okay? That's, again, it's going to be hot, 100 degree weather. So, make sure you pack plenty of water while you're out there doing that too. Again, safety is key when, we come, when it comes to that. So, mainly all you need is a boater education. And it's not required unless you're um, born after 1992. Um, sorry, 1993. And it basically just goes over the educational value of like what everything is when you're out here on the water. So uh, if you're born before that, we do recommend it. It's not required that you take it, but if you don't know a lot about water, craft, and things like that, it's good to have it because then you kind of get that knowledge before you get out on the water so you can realize what's safe and what's not safe. So a lot of things that we see are people not having enough life jackets for everybody on board. Okay, again, it's very important that everybody has a life jacket, whether it's accessible or not. Uh, and, it, and again, it needs to be accessible. So while you're out there on the water, make sure it's accessible. Last thing that happens is somebody boats going, boats goes under the water or sinks, and we, um, you don't have a life jacket for that person out there. Uh, another common thing is there are no wake zones. We talked about that a while ago. Make sure you, you're paying attention to those because those are generally where those are at. It's a hazardous area for either somebody's boat or a person or or another people, another person on the water, and so. Uh, one fine example is the bridge over here at Lake Nasworthy. Underneath the bridge, there's a no-wake zone. It's because we don't want you creating a hazardous wake to push another boat into the pylons that are underneath the bridge. So again, boating and alcohol do not mix, okay? Uh, it's, it's just like driving while intoxicated. You can get a boating while intoxicated, okay? And while you have kids on the boat, that has also increased this past year to become a state jail felony if you have a kid on board, okay? And so, speaking about that, if you're gonna consume alcohol on a boat, Make sure that you know your limits, uh, have a designated driver, or um, just don't be the one that consumes alcohol and drives the boat. Yes, so if you're getting out for the first time this year, make sure you check your boat. Go over everything before you put it on the water. Make sure you have enough life jackets, again, for everybody on board. Make sure you check your fire extinguisher. Those things go bad year to year, okay? Uh, make sure that your boat is operating like it should, because if you get out on the water and it's not operating as it should be, you could have some issues, okay? Whether that's a water-related accident or just your boat breaking down. We don't want that because, again, you're going to interrupt your fun time. Uh, again, it's going to be hot this weekend. We want to make sure that we get enough water, things like that, while we're out. Uh, swimming, usually people don't think about it until they're already sunburned, but let's make sure you're wearing sunscreen and stuff like that as well. So just make sure that if you're out here on your jet ski that you're paying attention to everybody out there as well. I guess this goes with boats as well. So jet skis and boats should make sure they're paying attention to where you're at, what you're doing, that way you can stay the appropriate distance away from each other. Jet skis have to stay 50 foot away from one another. Again, excessive speed and a jet ski 50 foot too close, things like that could cause accidents. Again, we're, we're here to strive to avoid the accidents. 
So yes, we're gonna be busy this weekend. We're gonna be busy probably all summer. And so just make sure that when you come out, you're paying attention to everybody around you. you might even have a, somebody on your boat that, is, that helps you look for other people and other craft while you're on the water. So you guys just enjoy your time while you're out here. We want you to have fun. We don't want to write you tickets and stuff like that, but if it comes to that, we'll, we will we'll hound a business, okay? So just make sure you get out here, have fun, enjoy your Memorial Day weekend, and thank you.